the R video tutorial on agent based models part five. So we've been playing with these agent based models. Hopefully you've got all the code up to now. Now what we want to do is now that we know how to summarize things, track this through multiple iterations. Okay, so we're going to track this through time. Before we just ran it and we said, look, we can look at our summaries. Now we want to store those summaries off so that we can keep track of these things and look how this thing behaves through time. Pretty easy to do. All right, so here we go. So we're going to do exactly the same thing we did before. We're going to reset ourselves. That's what agent-based models are all about, resetting yourself, getting a new population. And then I can see how these people move through time, and that's what we did here. And we've set this up, and at the end, we get a table. So this is what we want to save off. We want to save off uh, in some sort of output. I'm going to call it out1. And in row, let's see here. Well, we're going to have to do this on iterations. In row K, I'm going to save off this information. What information do I have? I have two pieces of information. Now I need to define out K or out1. So up here, I'm going to put out1 is going to be what's going to just or hold my, all of my results. So let's see here. I'm going to need it to be a matrix. I don't need it to be a matrix, but I'm going to make it a matrix. The number of columns is equal to 2 because I'm just recording right now whether they're in the susceptible or exposed group. And the number of rows. So this is how many time points I'm going to push this into the future. So I'm going to call it n time 1, which I'm going to need to define. So n time 1, which is going to be, let's suppose I'm going to move this 10 days into the future. Okay, so this is how far to run the model forward. Okay, so now let's see here. I have 4k in 1 to n time 1. Okay. Put our brace there and then go all the way down to the bottom and put our brace. I'm going to indent this in because it makes it easier for me to read. Okay, because this is going to be moving the people through time. Okay, so this should work. Let's hope. Unless something is dimensioned wrong. This should work and should give us an out one table at the end. Okay, so it moved each one of these people forward. So I can look at out 1K, and here we go. We can see we started off after the first iteration, not the very first one, with two people sus exposed, 98 susceptible. But as we move through time, by the eighth period, 100 people were, 100% of the people, or 100 people were exposed, and these are the susceptible people because it goes alphabetical order, and you need to keep that in mind as you're doing that. And this isn't the only way you could store this information, but it is a way to store it, and you can see how the dynamics play out, and you can change things using this. But this is our way of just running people forward and looking to see how things move through time with a population of 100. If you wanted to, you could do a population of 1,000. So let's do that real quick and see what that looks like. Remember, we're, it's not really going to change our output other than the size of it. So we can look at the size out 1K here in just a second once it finishes. Out 1. And we started off after one iteration. We had nine people who were exposed and 991 who were susceptible. By the time we ended up, we only had five susceptible. So people are changing from one group to the other. And that was based off of how many people they met and what this rate here was of which when they meet, do they become infected? And you can change that really easily and just change it to 2, uh, 0 0.02 or 0 0.25 and run this again really quick. So I'm going to run all, all of these agents through here, all the way from the top down to the bottom, through in forward, and it'll just take a second and we can look and see what this ends up looking like for these people. Here's out one. And notice it took a lot longer, right? Now we still have 633 susceptible. So 
this is the one change we made in this video was keeping track of things and knowing how to follow our results as we go along. In the next video, we're going to change how we choose who mixes with who since we're getting a larger population and we can play with more numbers. But we'll do that in the next video. Talk to you later. Thank you.